Hey guys, Matt from Shop La Romy and Medicus Caps. Uh, you can check our shop out uh, down below in the description. And um, wanted to do a video about gnat traps or like fruit flies. So the worst thing about obviously having fruit in the kitchen in summer is that now all the little annoying flies start to come out. So uh, I have to build a trap. Had a look around on the YouTube, of course. Um, tried out a few and this is the best one that works for us um, in terms of... Uh, yeah, effectiveness. A lot of people talking about vinegar, different types of vinegar, specific type of um, dish soap to use and this kind of stuff. Um, but this one is the most effective and probably the simplest. So essentially this is it. You'll be able to see that there's a few flies already in there. And the whole idea of this, uh, you can probably use any any type of fruit, but we use banana, um, is we use, uh, the, we use cider, no, we use clear... Uh, white wine vinegar, um, although I don't think it matters that much at all. Um, and I think that's generally just to help the smell as well. Um, and then also, uh, obviously, we've got banana. And then the key ingredient is, I mean, I'm not going to recommend just specifically this one, but I think this one's really good because it's clear. Um, so clear washing up liquid um, does really well just not to kind of take away from the color too much. Um, so yeah, essentially how you build this thing is you have a Tupperware and then you have a little glass jar or whatever, a smaller Tupperware inside with some fruit. Then around that, uh, we've poured, uh, the vinegar and then we've added a, a decent amount of, uh, washing up liquid as well. Um, and then kind of just gently mix that in um, don't do, you don't have to do crazy amounts. Then uh, the tape is just purely to make this uh, tight, like a drum. And then you put loads of holes in, but especially um, over over the top of the the fruit itself. Um, then they come in, and then they kind of fly around. And if they, uh, I'll often come back to the trap, and they they won't have actually like fallen in themselves. They'll just be like hanging out on the fruit or hanging out upside down. And in which case, you just tap, and they bounce straight into. Uh, the water and the uh, dish soap and vinegar kind of traps them in and gets them so the only the only trick is then finding the ideal uh, placement our, our kitchen's quite small but still some of them uh, they, it takes a while for them to kind of find it out uh, but definitely we've see like this this one over here um, but definitely once they once they do eventually find the trap we had loads as you can see um, then obviously that's going to help kill them off. And now we just need to make a smaller one for the bathroom as well, because otherwise obviously they just keep breeding. So if you find this video useful, just give it a thumbs up and uh, let me know your experiences down below.